Many of Australia's best-known magazines have a new owner. Nine Entertainment has sold its magazine business, ACP, to the German publisher Bauer Media. ACP's stable of 85 titles include Australian Women's Weekly, TV Week and House and Garden. The Women's Weekly was started by Kerry Packer's father, Sir Frank, almost 80 years ago. The reported price tag of half a billion dollars will allow Nine's owners, CBC Asia Pacific, to pay off part of its massive debt. Advertising consultant Harry Harold Mitchell is executive chairman of Aegis Media Pacific, and he likes the deal. Oh, Ross, this is a very good deal. It's a, it's a game changer, to use that dreadful American phrase, I'd have to say, because what it does is uh, the really embattled uh, organisation that uh, currently owns it, everything which has been uh, the Nine Network as we know it over a long period of time, has had a massive debt. Uh, they have to come to grips with that debt very, very soon, and this has given them some cash, liquidity and a little bit of freedom. But there's no doubt that the, uh, the way ahead is now set as to what it is. But dealing with the magazines, uh, it's, it's going into the hands of a, a German company, uh, which is very, very good at, uh, at magazines on a world scale. They've moved into America of recent times. They're very big in Europe, and that's what, something where the world's going. So is it a good deal? Yes, it is. What about the price tag, though? Reported uh, half a billion dollars. Is that going to be enough to get them out of trouble? Well, they're in trouble, and uh, it'll it'll mean that the the rules will be still the same rules. To put that in context, I understand the number is something like that half billion. They might have liked a little bit more. Uh, why wouldn't they? Uh, but uh, that's that's good deal for the Germans. So they've got some cash there. Where the the, the nine uh, organisation is going from here is that there are two major uh, bondholders uh, uh, in, uh, that hold most of the most of the debt. Uh, Packer, as you know, James Packer sold it for some four and a half billion dollars or so. Uh, the debt is uh, over two and a half billion dollars. That's probably about what it might be worth. Uh, most of the banks that were involved at that early stage have written the amounts down, so that money is already gone. What I can see happening from here is a restructure of the ownership, uh, that the shareholding will, uh, will remake itself, uh, still as a private company, but the bondholders will come out as a very substantial shareholders in the organisation. I expect also uh, that something of a hero in uh, this uh, whole operation has been a young man called David Gingell, uh, who's head of the whole operation up. He's kept nine competitive. As you know, he won the rugby league rights. That was a very big thing to do, a very big price, but it gave them certainty over programming into the future. So uh, in the next uh, four to six months, I imagine, could even be sooner, as a couple of trigger points come along, they've now got the freedom, because of some cash here, a little bit of liquidity, but not too much, to really restructure it to, so that uh, the debt finally disappears, because, as I said, the banks have lost it. That's gone, and the nine network is left with the cash. Not a bad outcome. Harold Mitchell, thank you. Oh, Roz, it's a, always it's a pleasure to talk to you.